Alrighty, this is going to be the review for your test, which you're taking tomorrow. Okay, so hopefully everyone is going to be following along. You know, we get like a million views on this and everyone gets a really good score, right? Yes. So you memorize my video and how to on all these things, hopefully. All right, so for the pair of polygons given, find the points of intersection. So what that means is find out where they two, all of them together, actually go together. So, so where are they equal to each other? That's what it's asking for. So if it's asking for that, I'm going to just write it as x minus 2 equals x minus 2 and x plus 5. Now, there's a couple different ways to do this. And I'm going to start off with like the easiest, by far the easiest way would be, is there an x minus 2 over here? Mm -hmm. Is there an x minus 2 over here? Mm -hmm. Can I divide both sides by x minus 2? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when I do this right here, there we go. All right, I'll cancel those over there, so I'm left with, if I have the same thing on top and bottom, what does that give me? One. Just one. So it's one equals, uh, what's that going to be? Mm -hmm. X plus five. And to get the X by itself, what would I do? Negative. Minus five, right? So I should get negative four equals X. Let's see if it works. So it is negative 4 minus 2 equals negative 4 minus 2, and then negative 4 plus 5. So I solve for x, and now I'm plugging it back in to make sure it is correct. It is going to be true. So negative 4 minus 2 is, say, negative 6. Negative 6. So negative 6 equals negative 6 times negative 4 plus 5, 1. So I get negative 6 equals negative 6. There we go. The other way of doing it would have to distribute. I would have to distribute and then try and factor. So like I said, this is going to be by far the easiest way of doing it. So there's that way. Okay, and we could also, actually, let me just do this. All right, so if I did that, x minus 2 equals x minus 2, x plus 5. So if I go through and I distribute, so I get x squared plus 5x minus 2x my, minus 10. So it's x squared plus 3x minus 10, and then move everything over there. So it's going to be a plus 2 plus 2 minus x minus x. So 0 equals x squared uh, plus 2x minus 8. So this way it's a little bit more complicated, isn't it? Isn't it? So we can, if you guys actually remember the lesson from Friday and the lesson back in uh, 2.15, uh, where we actually did factor this. So I'm going to break it up into two separate. So my first term, what's going to give me my first term there? X. So it's going to be an X, and it's an X. And now my last term, it's negative 8. So that means the numbers that multiply to be negative 8 are like 2 and 4, right? But one of them has to be negative, and the other one has to be positive. So if it's negative and positive, let's see. So if it is a, what do we say, neg uh, negative 2, right? Negative 2 would work. So negative 2 and a positive 4. So when I add those two numbers together, it gives me a positive 2. But then if I multiply them together, I get a negative 8. So off the side, I'm going to go... 
I'm going to set it equal zero. So zero equals x minus two. So add two, so two equals x. And then over here on this one, it's going to become zero equals x plus four. So negative four equals x. So this one I have, I get both answers. Now I have to check my answers though. Let's check the answers to see what we get. So because I eliminated one of my answers, that's the reason why I was able to get the negative four starting out. But then again, there is going to be two answers. So the second answer is right, is going to be right here. So let's see what that gives me. So it's going to be, so if I'm plugging it in, so that's going to be uh, two minus two equals two minus two, and then two plus five. Two minus two gives me zero equals zero times seven. Anything times zero is zero, right? Okay, so here is zero equals zero. So the first way gave me one answer because I canceled out my other one. I canceled out my second answer. So I had to distribute and I had to move everything to the right hand side, set it equal to zero and do the factoring like we did on 215 or the, the Roman numeral 15 I gave you guys last Friday. So both answers actually work on this. So I checked them both and they both work. So my two answers are gonna be a positive two and a negative four. Okay, so let's take a look at this next one then. Determine the following are factors of this right here. So I'm gonna do long division. So long division will work, okay? Long division will work. Or if I wanna use the box instead of long division, same thing. So if there is a remainder, okay, it, that's, that's what I'm going for. If there is a remainder, that means it's not a factor. If there's the remainder is zero, it is a factor. So if I do that, it's gonna be x plus two, uh, not equals, where's the thing? Uh, two x cubed plus x squared minus 15 x minus 18. So we did this one yesterday, almost exactly like this, right? Hopefully. Okay, so we start off with the same thing. So now my first term is what I have to match. So I'm trying to match the 2x cubed. So something, so I have to go over two terms, so that's going to be right here. So something times x gives me 2x cubed. 2x squared, so that's going to go right here. And then I distribute this. And that's going to give me plus 4x squared. Parentheses, subtract. Get 0 for this. And now it's going to be minus 4x squared. So this is 1x squared minus 4x squared is going to give me a negative 3x squared. Because I distribute the negative to this positive right here. So it changes signs. Bring down minus 15x. So let's look. I'm trying to match the first term again. So something, which is going to be here, times x, which is here, is going to equal negative 3x squared. Negative 3x. So negative 3x. So that's negative 3x squared. And then distribute to the 2. So a negative and positive negative 6x, parentheses, subtract. So my first term is going away. And my next term, so negative, so that makes it a plus. Negative 15 plus 6 is going to give me negative 9. Yeah, negative 9. So it's negative 9x. Bring down my negative 18. So again, something. 
something, which is right here, times x gives me negative 9, x. Just negative 9. So it's negative 9 times x gives me negative 9x. And then negative 9 times 2 is a negative 18. That one's going to be 0. So if that's 0, what does that mean? It is a factor. It is a factor. So if that is a factor, I could actually do this. Circle that. And now, do I have to do the full long division again? Say no. No, no I don't have to. Because I know this is a factor, and that means if something else is in there, that it should divide evenly. So it's going to make it a smaller number. So the more that you find, you are going to get it down to just so many different right here. So now that means I'm going to use this instead of using all of this. It's going to make my math a whole lot quicker. I could do that, or I could do the ABC method like I did from the video from Friday. Uh, you could do that. It is a trinomial, so you can factor it using regular means, or it can just do long division. So let's look at it. Um, okay. So let's go ahead and let's try this one. Let's try this one now. So it's 2x squared minus 3x. Insert page and minus 9, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so the next one is x minus 2. So x minus 2, let's go ahead and, minus yep, so it's now going to be minus 2x, positive 2x, <coughs> positive 2x, so 2x squared minus 4x, right? I'm distributing that. This goes away, so I'm left with 1x, because this is a positive now. It's going to be a positive, so it's negative 3 and a positive 4, which is 1x. Bring down my 9. So right here, this is going to be plus 1 is positive 1, which is going to give me x minus 2. Does that work? Nope, it does not work. So this is going to give me a negative 7. So that means that's, that one doesn't work. Wait, yes? You would know right away because 2x didn't, it wasn't 2x squared. I mean cubed. Say again, what? Like on B, you would know right away that it's not it because if the first one was a 2x squared or cubed, I mean. Oh, no, because you're saying because of the plus and minus here? No, go back. Tell me about your first, uh, how you got 2x. If that wasn't 2x cubed, no, it's up. If that wasn't 2x Oh, no, 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 no. We're getting smaller. So that's the reason why. So if uh, there is only because this is x cubed, it's a third degree, right? So yes. It's a third degree. That means that there's three x's in there. So there's three x's. So I can't have all possibilities here. I'm only going to have three of them. And there's six possible here. Yes? It has a remainder, it's not a factor. Yes, remainder, not a factor. So if it's zero, it is a factor. So now back, Eric, to what you're saying. So if it's going to be x plus 2, x plus 3, and x, I don't know, plus 4. All right. So if I look at my first term and it's 2x cubed, right? I'm going to have here, here, and here, okay, to actually get that. So I'm somehow have to get that. Okay? Yes. Yes, you may. So I'm somehow going to have to get that. But that's not the answer. I, I don't know what the answer is yet. Does that make sense now? Since there's only three of them, and I was able to say, hey, you know what? I already got one. So that means there's only these ones right here. So you don't have to go through and find all the possibilities. So I could just keep looking to see what's left over. So after I find this next one, 
my answer that's going to be on top up here is going to be my third one. Does that make sense now? Yeah. Okay, so let's try the x plus 3 now. So it's going to be x plus 3. And I'm going to have my 2x squared minus 3x minus 9. There we go. Okay, so again, matching in my first term, so it's going to be a 2x. And as I distribute, it's 2x squared. And distribute to the 3, that is plus 6x. So 2x squareds go away, and that's going to be a minus 6x. So it's going to together be negative 9x. And then I have minus 9, bring that down. Wrong part. So right here, this is going to be a negative 9. So if that's negative 9, it's negative 9x and then minus 27. So that one's going to give me a positive 18. So is that one a factor? No, that one's not a factor. Let's try it again with the x minus 3. Uh, so I'm going to erase this top one. So some of you guys are still following along. So, uh, okay, so 2x squared minus 3x minus 9, and it's going to be x <coughs> minus 3. So now if it's x minus 3, so on top it's again my 2x, 2x squared, minus 6x, uh, do my subtraction. Uh, it's going to give me, uh, what's that, uh, positive 3x. Positive 3x, bring down the negative 9. So it's a positive 3. I'm left with a 3x, 3x what? Minus 9, isn't it? So what does that tell me? That one is a factor. So x minus 3 is a factor. So x minus 3 is a factor. So look to see what I have left over. So if it is a factor, that means that I keep reducing it every time. So if that's a factor and I took that out, so I'm all I have left is a 2x plus 3. That's all that's left. That's the reason why I want to do this. And once I get 1, I use the answer because I keep reducing it. Now, this is my factor that's left. That is the third factor. So I have three factors here. Now, is that one of these? No, it's not. Guess what? So it's only those two. Out of, out of the list, it's only those two that are factors. Hopefully that helps out a little bit. Yeah, so it is some work, but you got to really practice on these. Uh, let's take a look at over here. All right, so this goes along with what we were doing the other day um, with my asymptotes, my vertical asymptotes. Now, if you guys remember from yesterday and before that, so asymptote, where is my vertical asymptote? When do I get that? When do I get a vertical asymptote? I had you guys write it down. I had you write it in your notes. You wrote it in your notes. Some people wrote it down. Some people trying to nap. It's in the notes. It's in the notes. When do we get a vertical asymptote? Zero in the denominator, right? So zero in the denominator. So my vertical asymptote is zero in the denominator. So I could take my zero, this right here, and set it equal to zero. So it's going to be like this, x minus 3 equals zero. 
Yes? Okay, good. So what am I going to do to actually get x by itself? Add 3. Add 3. x equals 3. So which one of these graphs has that? It's the left one, isn't it? Okay. It's going to be the left one because at x equals 3 is my vertical asymptote. And what? It says how do you know? How do you know? What how did I prove it? The question is that was that? Something like that. It's normally close to this. Okay, we're also gonna have, have another problem with the horizontal asymptote also. So I think that's our next one. Okay. Horizontal asymptote. Now, for the horizontal asymptote, what did I have to do? Remember, we were talking about limits, and we and we and we broke apart my problem, right? Mm -hmm. How would we break this apart from my horizontal asymptote? We did this on the notes. Come on, you guys. It's in. It's in the notes. Horizontal asymptotes. We did some yesterday and we did some uh, the day before. So if you want to look at uh, 19 and 20 in your notes, it is there. Somebody, somebody, looking at the notes. What do we do on 218? do on 218? Maybe some people can't see it. Yeah, when it gets closer, how do we figure out that line though? We did a little bit of it yesterday on that table. So, okay, yes, but how do I, how do I set this up first? I do what? I gotta set it up first before I can do that. <laughs> yes, very good. I separate it. So it's two over x minus three x over x. You guys remember this now? Okay, so now from here, what's gonna happen to my x's? Over here, that's canceling, right? So again, if I'm doing the limit to this. Right? If I'm taking this to infinity, what is 2 over infinity? 0. 2 over infinity becomes 0. This becomes 0 minus 3, right? Because this gives me 1. So 0 minus 3 is negative 3. So which one of these has a horizontal asymptote at negative 3? This one right here, right? Uh, okay, so uh, that's going to end part one of this. Uh, I'm going to do part two with another class. So it's going to be five, six, five and six in the other video. So like, share, and subscribe. So you guys got to make sure you go back and review this.